Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Previously, nag-discuss tayo ng distance between two points. Ngayon naman, distance between a point and a line. Without further ado, let's get this lesson started. So suppose meron tayong line L at point P na nakaplot dito sa Cartesian plane. Kailangan nating makuha yung distance between point P and line L. However, alam natin na ang line is a collection of infinitely many points. Ibig sabihin, pwede tayong kumuha ng isang point dito, tapos kuhanin natin yung distance from P. O kaya naman yung point dito, kuhanin natin yung distance non from P. However, Kung kukuha tayo ng iba-ibang point, say for example dito, itong point na to sa third quadrant, kukuhanin natin yung distance ng point na to from P. Iba yung sagot nun kung kukuha tayo ng point dito sa first quadrant, tapos kukunin natin yung distance nun from P. In other words, since a line is a collection of infinitely many points, marami din tayong pwedeng maging sagot na distance ng line na yon from a certain point Depende sa point na pipiliin natin on line L. Sa video na to, tuturuan ko kayo kung paano kuhanin yung shortest distance. Ibig sabihin, among all those distances, kukuhanin natin yung pinakamaliit na distance ng line L to point P. And that is the perpendicular distance D. So, paano ba yan nakikita? Pag sinabing perpendicular, it forms a 90 degree angle to the line. Ibig sabihin yung point P, magdodraw tayo ng line through it. Tapos kapag na-touch na yung line L, dapat yung angle between those two lines is a 90 degree angle. At ito yung lagi nating isosolve. Ito yung lagi nating i-consider na distance dahil ito yung shortest distance. Ito yung perpendicular distance. At para makuha to, we will use this formula. D is equal to the absolute value of ax plus by plus c divided by the square root of a squared plus b squared. Yung a, b, at c, makukuha natin yan sa coefficient at constant ng equation ng L. Dapat yung a at b ay yun yung coefficient, tapos yung c yung constant. And then yung x and y, yun yung coordinates ng point na involved. And then of course yung d ay yung distance nga. So, make sure na dapat yung line natin ay nakasulat sa isang form wherein zero na dapat yung nasa right side ng equation na yun. Gamitin natin sa mga susunod na example. So, find the distance between this line and this point K. Yan yung line, yung green, and then yung point ay yung 3,1. So, yung line natin kung mapapansin nyo, ang right side nun ay negative 2 pa. So, kailangan pa natin i-transpose yung negative 2 sa other side para magmukhang ganito. Yan. Afterwards, we can start determining A, B, and C. A is 3, B is 4, C is 2. Depende dun sa coefficient ng x at y. Yung coefficient ng x, yun yung A. Coefficient ng y, yun yung B. Tapos, yung constant, yun yung C. And then, from the point, x is 3 and y is 1. Lahat ng values na nakuha natin, substitute lang natin sa formula. We have 3 times 3 for ax. For by, we have 4 times 1. And then for c, we have 2. Lahat yon dapat na sa absolute value. And then the square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared. Simplify natin to. 3 times 3 is 9. 4 times 1 is 4. 2, kopya lang. However, ito naman ay 3 squared 9 and then 4 squared 16. 9 plus 2 plus 4 is 15. Get the absolute value of that. Tapos sa denominator naman, we have square root of 9 plus 16 which is 25. Afterwards, getting the absolute value of 15 is still 15. Square root of 25 is 5. 15 divided by 5 is 3. Meaning, the distance between point K 
and the line 3x plus 4y equals negative 2 is 3 units. Ito yung smallest distance at ito yung i-consider natin na distance between that point and this line. Next, tingnan naman natin yung distance between this line, x minus y minus 10 equals 0, and point j, 3 comma negative 5. I suggest you pause this video and try solving on your own that distance. Afterwards, reveal natin kung tama yung sagot mo. So obviously, yung line, hindi na natin yan papakialman dahil zero na yung nasa right side. What we're going to do here is to identify A, B, C. A is 1, B is negative 1, C is negative 10. Again, don't forget the sign of the coefficient. For J, we have 3 as the X value and the negative 5 as the Y value. Tapos yun, isa substitute lang natin sa formula na to. We have 1 times 3 for AX plus negative 1 times negative 5 for BY and then plus C is minus 10 divided by the square root of 1 squared plus negative 1 squared. So simplifying this further, we have 1 times 3 is 3, negative 1 times negative 5 is 5, and then of course minus 10. Yung sa denominator naman, 1 plus 1 lang yan. 3 plus 5 is 8, minus 10 is negative 2. And then of course sa baba, we have square root of 2. Getting the absolute value of negative 2 is 2, However, dahil meron pang square root sa denominator, alam naman natin hindi exact root ang square root of 2, we have to rationalize it first. So dito, kailangan marunong pa rin tayong mag-rationalize. So mumultiply natin yung entire fraction into square root of 2 over square root of 2 para sa denominator, matanggal na yung square root, maging 2 na lang. Tapos sa numerator, of course, mumultiply lang natin yan to square root of 2. And then simplifying this further, pwedeng ma-divide yung 2 etong nasa labas sa numerator. Tapos yung nasa denominator, pwede siyang ma-divide, leaving us with only square root of 2 units. Again, may units pa rin dapat dahil we are dealing with distance. And then that's it. Yun na yung sagot. D equals square root of 2 units. Ibig sabihin, yan yung shortest distance between point J and this line. So regardless kung nasan yung point, kay nasa taas man siya, or nasa baba ng line, nasa left or nasa right ng line, take note that we will always arrive with a positive answer. Dahil we are dealing with distance and distance could not be negative. Wala namang negative distance. So ay laging positive. At laging tandaan yung units. Of course, kung given ang ibang unit of measurement for length, yun ang gamitin. Pero kung wala, let's leave it as like this, units. So that's how we do it. Ganyan tayo kumuha ng distance between a point and a line. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video. Thank you.